What's up, crypto heads? John Fro here from Crypto Dreams. This is the place to be to learn about NFTs, AI, GameFi, and Web3. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. In this episode, we're talking all about Barachain. I'm going to be explaining exactly how to start interacting with their testnet. This way, you will be eligible for their airdrop. Before I begin, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I am always making content and I will have many more episodes coming for you in the future. I appreciate your support. It helps out a lot, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, let's go ahead and begin. This right here is the Barra Chain website. This is your main hub. This is gonna have everything you're gonna need, links and information all about Barachain. Barachain is a proof of liquidity network. They just launched Barachain V2 Barteo testnet. So this is live, but everything you're gonna need is right here on the website. I'm also gonna have links to everything I talk about in the description below. So if you wanna jump on their website or jump onto their decks or whatever else, those links are in the description below. If we look right here on the bottom, we're gonna see developers, ecosystem, dApps, community, foundation. You can look over all this on the website. The most important of these here is the dApps. The dApps is where it's all gonna begin for you. You're gonna see all the dApps that you can interact with on Barachain. The first one we're looking at is the faucet. In order to get tokens dripped to your wallet, you need to be using the test net faucet. So this is the faucet right here. You're gonna drop your address right in here and you will get drip tokens. Very, very important to keep in mind here is that you have to have at least 0.01 ETH on the Ethereum mainnet in the wallet you want tokens dripped to, okay? So if you don't have any ETH in the wallet you want tokens dripped to, you will not get any tokens. So keep that in mind. But this is where you get drip tokens and you can use these tokens within the ecosystem. Again, these are test net tokens. They have no value. They are strictly test net used to help develop the Barachain ecosystem. Another important thing here to know is that you will only get tokens dripped to you every eight hours, okay? So if you come in here, drop your address, boom, you're gonna get some tokens. You can't get any more tokens for another eight hours, but you can get them every eight hours. So you wanna come in here and you want to be getting your tokens dripped to your wallet, okay? So once you have those tokens in your wallet, you're gonna start interacting with all of these dApps. So the most important to begin with is gonna be BEX. BEX is their DEX where you're gonna be able to trade other tokens within the ecosystem. So you can see right here, these are the tokens on the Barra Chain network. You got WBARA, Barra, Honey, USDC here, WBTC and, and WEATH. So this is where you're gonna do your swapping. You can also get involved in pools here. So you can add liquidity to these pools. Okay, and you wanna be doing this, everyone. You wanna be swapping and adding liquidity. So I have a bit of liquidity right here. V2, the Barteo testnet just launched. I used V1 a lot. I had much, much more on V1, but V2 literally just launched a few days ago. So I'm just getting started, but I have a Honey USDC 
liquidity added to this specific pool, but you can add liquidity to any of these pools right here. Okay, lots and lots of pools that you can add to, but first thing you'll have to do is get Drip Barra, and then you're gonna swap your Barra for whatever token that you want. So once you have been drip tokens and you've done some swapping, you can start interacting more with the ecosystem. One of the things that you really want to be doing is supplying assets and borrowing. So that's going to be done here in Bend. Okay, I'll have a link to this in the description below. You can also find it on the website. But this is where you are going to supply and borrow tokens so very very important that you're doing this this really helps build the network so very important that you're doing this i currently have 16.66 wbt supplied and i have borrowed honey okay so one other reason why it's very important to be doing this is you will earn BGT. BGT is a very, very important part of the bear chain ecosystem. So not only are you helping the network by borrowing and supplying, you're also helping yourself because you're earning BGT. You're gonna be able to do even more within the ecosystem by doing that. So this is where you are gonna supply and borrow. You can supply honey as well right here. You can also supply wheat. There's several more dApps that you can interact with, but the, the Bex, Bend, and Faucet are the three that you're gonna do the majority of your interaction. You can also mint and redeem honey right here. So this is also where you can interact with the network. You're gonna to wanna to be interacting as many places as you possibly can. BGT station is very, very important as well. So make sure you're jumping around, looking at all of these. One other thing that you can look at here on the website is the ecosystem. There's a whole lot happening within the Barachain ecosystem. So be sure to check this out. You have several more dApps going on here. This one right here, Kodiak, is an important one to mention. You can also get tokens dripped on Kodiak. Currently though, Kodiak is not yet running on V2. V2 is so new, a lot of the dApps that are part of the ecosystem have not yet integrated V2 into their dApp. So a lot of this is not usable yet, but it's going to be. Again, I use V1 a lot. I use Kodiak to get drip lots of tokens. So before closing this episode out, I just wanna show you the Honey Jar really quick. The Honey Jar is a fun dApp where you can interact with Barachain. Again though, it is only live on V1. It is not live yet on V2, the Barteo testnet. It will eventually. It may be by the time I release this episode. It is a fun, fun dApp. You can interact with the network more and get involved with quests. They got some fun quests that you can participate in. You can check out collections and you can earn badges. Keep in mind though, that you will need to spend some crypto in order to complete these quests but you will get badges. You can get dripped tokens here as well. So the more places you can get drip tokens, the more you can interact with the network and the bigger your airdrop. So just wanted to show you this real quick. The Honey Jar is a great place where you can interact more with the network and have fun doing so. I really like the Honey Jar. Just wanted to show you that, but this is Barra Chain. This is how you get started. If any of you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. I'll respond back to you 100%. Appreciate all of you watching. I appreciate all of you listening. Your support is so, so appreciated. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like and click that notification bell. 
until next time, I wish you health and wealth. I'm out of here. Crypto.